No, this is not happening. Oh God, Lily! Coming, Lily. Just hold on. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. here you weren't here for me dad Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me... about Mobius. <laughs> I'm here because of this. Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? 
Lily is alive, and she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them. And STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. 
I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Stem entry in three, two, one. Is this... Where am I? Help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. Memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. 
So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. My first commendation feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. Cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. <sighs> Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. I don't blame you for feeling that way. 
You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Thanks, Kitty. Just make regular doors. <laughs> 